And I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So here we are. I thought what I'd do is just start playing it. And if someone wants me to stop it, just say stop and I'll click stop. So stop. All right. Now that's Aunt Janice, right? That's Janice. Yeah. Okay. Well, not gathered. Richard, why were you guys in Batavia, Illinois? I know that's where Grover lived or Grover's family, Ethel. But what, why was this in Batavia? Who was out? Who lived there at this time? Yeah, yeah, that was Ethel, Ethel and Grover and their family, uh, Gay, in, Gail and Carol. They lived in Batavia. Yeah, they lived in Batavia. Yeah, so we we went up there. Um, uh, your uh, your granddad was uh, was visiting, and so um so we all went up there for a for a picnic including frank okay gotcha okay thanks <clears throat> yeah so um yeah this was uh, batavia now that's grover that? with the... stop yeah so who's the lady yeah. with the hand on the back of the young girl uh okay that let's see that's aunt janice she's got her hand on her right yeah, that's uh, that's Aunt Jan. Well, let's see. It's uh, it's a little bit blurry. That's either my mom oh, or yeah. my sister, Diane. How's that better? Oh, that looks like my mother. Okay. Uh, that's uh, Peggy. Yeah. OK. Grover's in the striped shirt. Uh, Grover's in the striped shirt. Right. Next uh, to him is Ethel. That's Ethel. OK. Who's yeah. Ethel? Where's Ethel? Eth Ethel's next to Grover. <clears throat> I Go thought that Grover. was my grandmother. No, not yet. Well, maybe we'll see. Um, any idea who the, the lady between um, Grover and Ethel and the lady in the stripe or the uh, the um, plaid? Plaid. Thank you. <laughs> sure. I mean, maybe we'll find out later, huh? Okay. Now, was was Frank living in uh, Chicago at this time still, or had he gone to Spokane yet? Nineteen fifty one. There you go. Nineteen fifty one. Yeah. So Frank, was, Frank still, was Frank still in Chicago? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in, in 51. Okay. okay. So Grover is Ethel's husband. Right. And Ethel is uh, your dad's sister, right? Our dad's. Yep. Is that right? right. There was three, three exactly. boys and a girl. Right. Yeah. Three boys and a girl. Okay. Ethel would be our grandfather's sister. Yeah, she was born in 20. She was born in 1915. So she was three years younger than uh, Ed. Okay, do you think that's who this person lady is with her, her hand up in her face? Is that Ethel, do you think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Ethel. And I think the girl, uh, the girl on the furthest left there is, um, I think that's Gail. And Gail would be? Uh, she's, she's the eldest. She's um, uh, Grover and Ethel's eldest daughter. How kidding. Yeah, Gail, and, Gail and that's Carol. Uh, Carol is on the uh, the furthest right. Um, Carol. Carol, yeah, Carol was uh, was the youngest daughter, and she she was uh, she was a real beauty. She um, she won some kind of a beauty contest way back in the old days or somewhere. Oh, yeah, she oh. she was very very pretty. Uh, but uh, both girls. Um, um had uh, some kind of genetic condition i'd have to look it up and see what it was but uh, they they both passed away when they were quite young oh uh gail went on uh, she became a a uh, gym teacher at uh, some school level i don't know if it was elementary school or high school but uh, she she was a um a gym teacher she was really into sports uh she was very athletic and um very vivacious and outgoing and and really loves sports. Uh, Carol was uh, was more reserved, and I don't uh, don't recall Carol having a a, um, a job uh, working anywhere. She married a um, uh, an IBM executive. <clears throat> she, yeah, she, she, died, she died in the early nineties. Carol did. Yeah, oh. Carol. Carol wasn't uh, wasn't very old uh, either when she passed away. And then. Gail, I guess I heard Gail died in like the late fifties, early sixties. Uh, yeah, that yeah, that sounds sounds about right. Um, like I said, I'd have to go. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I don't have a way of looking it up real quick, but I, 
if my memory serves me right, which it may not be, but uh, anyway, the the age of something like 28 or 29 comes to mind that uh, she was when she passed away. Okay. Wow. And uh, Carol, if I remember correctly, was uh, was just in her, her like her middle or late 40s when she yeah. passed away. And uh, that was kind of the same as Grover. Grover was, was quite young. Um, I don't know if he had hit 50 when he passed away. Yeah, he died in 62. 62, okay. Yeah, do you have his birth date? I don't. I don't. Uh, I just remember reading somewhere sixty-two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Now is that you coming out of the car there, Richard? Yeah, that's yeah. me coming out of the car, and that's your um... Mike. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Oh, Mike. Yeah, that, that's that's Mike. You can pick him out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Is that grandma? Is that is that Grandma Katie there? That that's grandma Kate. That's your great grandma Kate. Yeah. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Katie Dengel, Katie Michaels. Now she's yeah. the one. She's the one that lived across the street on Providence from Grandma and Grandpa. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. She lived down there on the corner. Yep. Cincinnati and Providence. Yeah. She was a lot stockier back then. We saw her. She was thin. Okay. So then. And, and there's Frank and Dolly. Yeah, that's Frank Dolly. and Dolly. Okay. Yeah. Dolly. That's what I thought. Okay. Wow. This is still 51. Okay. Yeah. Janice, no. What's Peggy. that? It looks like Janice in the Who's, front. Yeah. That's Diane yeah. and Barbara. There. Yeah, that's Barbara. Barbara was born. See, Barbara was born in 51. Barbara's got the baby in her hands, right? Uh, no, it's Diane and Barbara. No, that's Diane's. Oh, Diane. Diane's holding Barbara. Diane just died, died a year ago, right? Or, but yeah, yeah. Oh, what a shame. Okay, and then the back behind her is Peggy. Between Janice and Diane, that's my mom. Yeah, that's, that's mom Peggy. and Peggy. Okay. Yeah, that's Peggy. Right. Okay. So, so that's okay. So the plaid shirt is is Gail. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Who's writing this down? Oh, I, I'm recording this, so. Nobody right okay. now, but you know, we're <laughs> this is a director's cut. <laughs> okay. yeah, we, I know. we know that I think, that's, <laughs> I think that's grandma, I think that's grandma Michaels behind Gail, though. Oh, wait, maybe not. No, I think that's Ethel. All right, there's oh, a, Ethel, you're right, you're right, it's Ethel. There's grandma, great grandma Damon, great grandma Damon, or I'm sorry, Dengel, Dengel? Or Michael, Michael. Michael. So, she was a Dengel, married to Mike. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Now, who are these little cuties? Okay, yeah. My mom just took pictures of those uh, two girls. They, they, they were wondering what was going on with the picnic. They, they were running that apartment next door, and oh, okay. they were just two, two <laughs> cute kids that my, my mom wanted to get a video of. I, I have no idea who they were or what their names are. All right. So we know. All, and who's the baby there? That's, uh, that's, that's Barbara. Barbara. That's Barbara, exactly. Barbara. And Barbara. And Barbara's Barbara. And Barbara lives near near uh, Paul and Therese, and Paul and Therese know her down in Kent. In Kent, yeah, exactly. Really? Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, right. that's right. And that's they're in contact. Yeah. Is that your sister, Richard? Yes. Barbara? Yeah, that's Diane. I mean, but Barbara's your sister as well, or no? No, Bar Barbara's my niece. Your niece. Then, let's see. Okay, so that's yeah. Uh, that's yeah, I'm 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 Barbara's uncle. Okay. Yeah. All so right. from left left to right, stop, stop. Uh, looks like uh, Gail's in the behind Uncle Mike. Mm -hmm. Gail, Uncle Mike, and then Barbara's in the hands of Janice. Janice. Right. And then behind Janice is is, is that that's probably grandma, that's probably Grandma Michaels, but we can't. Grandma tell Michaels, her, and then yeah. Grandpa, and then John Michaels behind her. And Grover. And then, who was that? Grover. And then to the right of that, it was uh, uh, Diane. Barbara. Diane. Diane. This is Diane right. in the blue strapless. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Behind her is oh, she's Ethel. a looker, huh? Yeah, she she was full of life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we've got a little boy yeah. here being that held was... by, by uh, Aunt Dolly. That must be Aunt Dolly's got a boy in her arms. Here. That's oh, Mike. That's uh, that's Mike Michaels. Yep, exactly. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, 
Linda, Linda is their oldest, then Mike was second, and then Tony came third. That's Mike Michaels. Okay, That's so we have, Walla Walla. we have exactly. two Mikes. Okay, that explains it. Because um, Yeah. Okay. Question. Question. Stop. Yeah. All right. That's Linda. That's up. Linda. So that's, that's Dolly, Linda. Holden, Dolly Holden Michael. And Linda just ran across the bottom right there. Right, that's right. Linda. Okay. And now, now looking at a conversation I had with Richard, Richard's now the patriarch of the Michaels family, right? Oh, God. Yeah. I, I'm, I don't know if I can take the pressure. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then next in line is Michael. Yeah. And Dolly's right. and Frank's Michael. Yep. Yeah, I guess that'd be true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, then it would be Ed Miller. Is that older than you, Fred? Well, about a year or so, a year or two older than me. All right. Then Ed, then, yeah, then you. And me. Okay. Yep. You're fourth in line, Fred. Hang in there. Hang in there, Richard. I don't want to get there that yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, uh, you're, you're fourth in line of the throne. <laughs> okay. You're, well, you're, the, little, you're, the little girl running across the that's Linda there running across that's Linda lady yeah that's okay. Frankie Linda, Linda, yeah okay then there's Mike okay okay yeah that's, no, that's, that's Richard there now, who's that's, this that's Aunt Peggy that's Aunt Peggy right there on her car now mm -hmm. here's the thing Frank and John Frank and John and Mike and Dolly and Mike in the background and it so, looks like there were two cameras because now we got we got our grandpa going to take movies and someone's taking movie we haven't taken movies <laughs> no your your uh your uh, grandpa was um uh my my dad let him use uh, his uh, bell and Howell camera to uh prank to you know just experiment taking pictures okay. your uh, your grandpa was curious about about the camera that you know the movie uh, cameras were still quite new in those days so your grandpa was wondering about it and so my dad explained it to him and said here why don't you take some pictures or something you know he did eventually buy one, and he did use yeah. it at mom and dad's wedding. Ah, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I never saw that one. I know. I don't. Jim and Levina had it in their basement, and, and now it's a mystery. It's disappeared. Probably got thrown out. It was on the same reel as Jim and Levina's wedding, too, believe it or not. So Let's, who's that? That Okay, from left to right. Great That's Grandma, Grandma Katie. Remember Dangle, and then uh, in the blue... Gail to the far left, and then Grandma Kate, Grandma, Grandma Dingle, and then, uh, is that Peggy? Aunt Peggy? Is that your mother? No. Who is that? Where? In the blue dress. In, In the, the blue, middle. that's Ethel. Oh, Ethel. Okay, thank it's you. Ethel, yeah. okay. And then, it's Mike. Yeah. I get a Uncle kick Mike. out of, I'm going to run it here, and I just get a kick out of, of our Uncle Mike there. He's just a camera <laughs> hog. Yeah. There I am. See, there I am. He's just following the camera. <laughs> well, that's Mike Michael and Barb. That's Janice, there, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Janice is holding Mike. Wait, what? Who is he? Yeah, Janice, Janice, is, Janice, is, hold, hold, Janice is holding Mike and Barb. Barbara. Barbara. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And we'll see Michael later. Yeah. Okay. It's there. You guys had a good time. You guys could. Oh. That was my grandma. There she is. Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This grandma. is worth the price of admission right there. Uh, Janice. Goodness gracious. Janice. How old Janice there about? Oh, now this is. That's Aunt Peggy. That's Aunt Peggy. Peggy. Okay. They, they are beautiful. He's, he's okay. Frank and Dolly. Frank. Frank's a good looking. And that's, that's Uncle Ed. That's Uncle Ed, right? Okay. There's Uncle Ed there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's Uncle Frank. Ed again. No, it's Frank. That's Frank. Frank. No, this that, yeah, that Frank. that's Uncle Ed. Oh, that's Uncle Ed. You're right. I'm sorry. This is Ed yeah. right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he does kind of look like a gangster. <laughs> 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 Someone oh. running from him anyway. <laughs> okay. Diane's changing Barbara. Yep. Grandma. Okay. And Frank. there's Frank. Awesome. Barbara. So that's Diane with her first baby there. Now she's a right. new mom. Right. She's a new mom. 
<clears throat> yeah. Frank and John. There's Ethel. That's Peggy. Peggy. Man. Michael's men married some really pretty you know, ladies there. Okay. Great grandma Michael. Barb. Barb. That's Barb. Okay. That's Barb. There's my There's grandma, grandma Kate. Grandma Kate. There's a lot of Kates running around. Yeah, There's Uncle Ed. Is that that's that yeah. actor, right? Right. Okay. I There's thought the I said it was her grandpa. Who's that? Grover. That's Grover. Grover, gotcha, right, of course. Ethel's husband. All right, now I just love your model train set. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh God, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I figured I'd, I'd leave it up to you guys to cut out whatever you wanted to cut out of the video, right. Right? because I, I know you're mainly interested in just the uh, the family stuff. So, Well, oh, you know what? People hey, FYI, do... FYI. What's um, that? You, uh, it sounds like Richard and, and our Uncle Mike were pretty close growing up. Uh, yeah, we were, I think, I think Mike was a year ahead of me in school, if I'm not mistaken. I could be Anyways, wrong on that, but yeah, I think the, it was one year. Back in the 70s, after he got lit, fired from Boeing, he built one of these in his basement. Oh, did he? Yes, he did. He did a pretty elaborate job with the mountains and all that. Oh, wow. I never saw that. Did, oh. you, did you build this with your dad then, I, I assume? No, I did the whole thing myself. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Yeah, my my dad tells the story of how he came home from work one day and uh, went down to the basement because the basement was where he stored all his uh, painting supplies and stuff. And uh, he knew I had the train down there. I had the train down there at one time, but uh, he he came home from work, and um, and he was shocked. He looked at the wall and and I had painted all those mountains on the wall. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I, I didn't ask him his permission to use his paint to paint those mountains. <laughs> so <laughs> he, 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 he was a little upset over it, you know. Well, how old are you there? How old are you when you did this? I was about, uh, I think, uh, around 13, 13 or so. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He 12, took me 13. down there and show me his paint supplies and show me some samples of how he would, what paint he would use to imitate oak and concrete and slate and marble oh yeah it was, it was it was amazing yeah well the the thing about my train set was what what inspired me was uh um my folks took me to the museum of natural history in chicago one day and uh, we went there and um and the museum had this fantastic uh, model train layout it was an ho train layout and it was just absolutely fascinating. And it, uh, it captivated my imagination. And I told myself I had to do something to put together a train layout, you know? Mm. Um, and so uh, they had mountains and rivers and everything in that, in that layout. And so then that's where I got the idea to put mountains and stuff in this, in this layout here. So that was what inspired me. Wow. Well, that's something else. I get a kick out of that. Yeah, it was fun. So, Burley, is this a school behind your behind your uh, house? Yeah, if you go to uh, Polina and, and Fletcher, and then you go to the end of the street there, uh, the end of Fletcher. So, on on this picture here, if you go to the left down the street, that's where you'll come to the Polina house. And uh, this playground here, this was the playground associated with the elementary school, Burley Elementary School. Uh, and it was part of the uh, Chicago uh, Parks and Recreation System. And so the, the house in the background, that was, um, that was kind of like a boys and girls club there. Hmm, okay. uh, that's where the boys and girls got together. And, um, and then we had, we had uh, uh, leaders. Uh, the girls had a woman leader. The boys had, had a guy leader. And, um, and they, would, they would put together different activities like... Uh, Baseball teams, football teams, they'd uh, help us get ready for ice skate, ice skating races and stuff like that. Okay. And um, on Halloween, then um, they would help. Everybody would make uh, lanterns out of uh, heavy construction paper and we put candles in them. And then, uh, and then they would take us around the, uh, the neighborhood um, as kind of a little, little micro parade. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So this is just down the street from your, the house on Polina. Okay. Just down the street from the house, right? Okay. Yeah, and uh, it just turned out that you know what we 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 all uh, we always couldn't couldn't wait uh, the the recreation director. His name was Shub, and we could never wait for Shub to uh, flood the playground because then we'd have the ice to skate on. <laughs> so, so he would, he would flood that field when the temperatures got, uh, got down cold enough. And, um, uh, but then, uh, then when my mother finally got around to getting over there to, um, uh, to take pictures of me ice skating, uh, that was kind of at the end of the season and the ice was all chipped up. And, um, you know, whenever I tried to skate around there, I, I almost hit a hole and stuff like that. So I was stumbling all over the place. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't too cool. But, oh, <laughs> we did a pretty good job. Yeah. I was impressed. Yeah. Quite an athlete. Were you an athlete? Well, on the, uh, on the ice skating, on the ice skating, the, uh, that one year when I was in eighth grade, I came in, uh, I came in third in the Chicago, Chicago had a, had what they called at that time the silver skates uh, ice skating contests okay. uh, for different grade levels, you know, and um, and I came in third that year in Chicago in um, in the racing. Really? Yeah. Oh, Chicago. What's Whoa, that? Cut that tape just yeah. in time. <laughs> <laughs> That's when yeah. your mom turned it off. Now, who's yeah, this, this isn't you. Yeah, who's cut that one? part, will you? Who's this little guy? Uh, that's, uh, I think that's, uh, let's see, who Mike is that? Randy? Is that Mike? No, that, this is Barb that's here. Bar this is Barb, Barb in Chicago. Yeah. Okay. That's when they were living in the, uh, fourplex. Okay. Now the fourplex, that was right across the street. Fred and I were over there and you had the fourplex on the, if you looking at the two houses, you got the fourplex on the right and then the house at dad lived down on the left right does that sound familiar at all we got that right uh your dad you mean yeah Did uh, you like right across the street i don't think uh i don't think your dad ever lived in that building okay yeah i think he lived uh uh if he lived in that area he was living in a different building there was a german memorabilia store of a german um oh does that sound familiar? Because he was saying uh, there was a store where you could get German uh, army. That's where dad bought the, uh, my, our dad bought the Nazi flag and then he hung it up to dry or something. And then grandma Katie said, take that thing down. <laughs> we, we went to Polina, Fred and I, about <laughs> eight years ago or so. Oh, uh, great. Last, I guess less than that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he showed us around and there were two houses on Polina. He said he lived in one of them. And, and I thought that he said that Uncle Ed and the family lived on the, right across the street at a fourplex. And then behind it was a school and behind that was a movie theater that wasn't there anymore. Right. Yeah. Remember that. Um, uh, remember that recreation house that that you saw when I was ice skating there? Yeah. Well, behind behind that house, that's that would have been the back wall of the Belmont Theater. Oh, really? Yeah, and the front behind door of this the thing here behind this building here. Uh, no, oh, keep, keep going. That keep, one. Keep, okay. there, oops, did I go too far? Yeah. Um, a little. A little looks like a log cabin almost. Yeah. It's yeah. It's, a, it's just a one story affair. That one there. That building there. This one here. Yeah. Yeah. Behind that building that's... there. If behind that, uh, huh? Behind that's the Belmont. Yeah, that yeah, that was the old Belmont Theater. Yeah, this right. was. Yeah, oh, yeah behind that, that building. Okay, yeah, we saw that. Okay. Yeah, behind that building. All right, mm -hmm. so Dad saw the used to go to the matinees and watch the Green Hornet and all that. Okay, so right. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess you probably did too, then, huh? Oh yeah. This is, is this Polina Street and the worst? Is the fourplex behind us or? Okay, yeah, the fourplex, uh, fourplex where we live would be to the left. Yes, yeah, in, in, in the picture this looks here. Familiar. So there's this. Yeah, this is this looks like the street, doesn't it, Fred? When you were over there, I mean. Yeah, I think we were on the kitty corner from that yeah. last. Yeah. Okay. This is. This is the, and we took your house you, is here. You, you, no, the street going from left to right in this picture here is Polina. Yeah. And then the the cross street is Fletcher. Okay. 
Yeah, and the uh, the fourplex uh, where we lived is uh, was the fourplex on the left, and then uh, my sister and uh, and her husband had one apartment, and then Grover and Ethel lived in that building for a while, and then your great grandma Kate Dangle, uh, she had one of the apartments in that building, um, but I don't think. Uh, I don't think John. And, oh, and then um, Frank Dad says and, he Frank, lived in the house that this that the child here is right standing in front of. Maybe that was before you were living there. I, I don't no, know. Johnny or Rick. Yeah, I believe the house to this child's immediate right was the fourplex. Yeah, there was a fourplex on the other side of the street that was kind of like his uh, right, I mean, right here. Right no, here. not there. I'm th I'm thinking it's it's to that. Child's immediately is to right the kids hand. right, right here. Okay, that's see. I thought that that's, but you can't see it. No, but I thought that's where he said he lived, and then over here was was Ed's the fourplex. Fourplex, but I guess no. You're right. The fourplex was over here. Okay. Yeah. And then and to the child's left. Yeah. And across the street was the other house. That's okay. right. That was another fourplex. Okay. Another big fourplex. Yeah, and yeah. Um, on Polina. On Polina itself, next to that fourplex, if you go down about two houses um, and, and you take the stairs down, there was an apartment there, and that's where um, where Frank and Dolly lived. Oh, okay. Yeah, they lived on Polina there at one time, I think before they moved to uh, Spokane. Okay, okay. So, yeah. So, so this, right now, right now here, nobody's in Spokane. Pardon me? Nope. At the, at, as this was being filmed, nobody lived in Spokane that we know. No, uh, Michael, yeah, no your 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 grandfather was there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, your, your grandfather moved. and um and your um and and your grandma they they were the first ones that went out there and bought that farm in Coburg. Okay. In forty seven or forty eight, yeah. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. So behind the kid's head. I can't remember the kid's name. Go on uh, that's, Bar there. that's Barbara. Barbara, okay. Behind <laughs> yeah, that, that's Barbara. That's toward the Belmont's toward where those arrows are, right? The Belmont. Belmont. Right. Bel Belmont's to the right. In, in the here. right of the picture. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, if you go down one block, you'll come to Belmont. Okay. All right. So moving right along here. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> And this must be. That's Barbara. That's Barbara. Yeah, that's my sister. Diane. Okay, so this is, see, when I, this is not, this, okay, so this is Liberty Lake then, huh? Okay, now this, um, okay, when I said Liberty Lake, Liberty Lake is is a few scenes down from this scene here. I'm not, oh, I'm not yeah. exactly sure which lake that was. We, um, okay, this might be. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, yeah. Okay, that was. I'm not sure which which like this one is. Uh, okay. To be honest, yeah, I'm not oh, sure. Okay. So, <clears throat> sure looks like Eastern Washington somewhere. Yeah, it looks like Lake Spokane, though, where they dammed up the Columbia. They, it's they, around they, there somewhere. Yeah, it okay. looks like the, the art of the Roosevelt. They call it Roosevelt Lake, I think. Probably. And there's Uncle, and like, okay, and Uncle Ed fishing there. here. It's your dad fishing. That you? Uh, yeah, river, no. right? <laughs> no, that's uh, that that's my dad. We uh, we we took a trip somewhere, and um, and as we were driving, we came on this uh, this beautiful river, and <clears throat> my dad was still really into fishing, and so he he just had to get out and uh, and uh, throw I'll, throw a line yeah. into the water. I'll bet you that lake was in uh, eastern Montana somewhere. Then. Could be. All right, so this, so this is Liberty Lake. This yeah. is Liberty Lake. Okay. Now who's now this? this? Now this is Liberty Lake here. Okay. Now who's who's scuba diving? Here? <clears throat> okay, that's that's me. I I, I had the bright <laughs> idea that I was gonna that I was gonna make my own uh, scuba diving gear. You know. Okay. And uh, but uh, no nobody nobody told me that um, that the tank had a had to take uh, like two thousand pound piece pounds of psi you know <laughs> in in order to crank out enough air to breathe underwater so 
it was almost, it was just a little, you know, I, I pumped the air in there with just a bicycle tire pump. <laughs> and, and of course that didn't do anything, you know? So as soon as I went underwater and tried to breathe, well, the tank went, was empty already. Oh man. So that didn't work. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there went my hopes of patenting that idea. <laughs> All right. Now who's it? This isn't you. This is my you. It's Richard. Yeah, that's me again. It's you again. Okay. And that's Linda Lighty. Uh, okay. That's coming, Linda there. Okay. Then coming up behind her is Michael, uh, right. Frank's kid. That's Frank's kid, right? Yep, right. Michael. He just turned 70. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. where, where, where's Michael living now, John? Do you know? He's in Walla Walla. Walla. Walla oh, he's still in Walla Walla, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who do we have here? That's that was Frank and Mike. I think. Yeah. Frank and right. Mike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's Grandpa yeah. John and Uncle Ed. John and Ed. That was that's, that's not grab that's not john no that's a uh, frank uh no, that. yeah that was frank and my dad oh, okay. frank and ed okay and then the next picture is me and my dad this is up on the hill at the colbert farm looking down okay there you are with yeah your dad. okay there i am all right with frank and uh, ed yeah now is this this at, over at the uh, raw, uh bowl and pitcher on the spokane yeah. river Oh yeah, now, this, this is, this is uh, I I think they called it uh, what was it the Dry Canyon Park or something like that. Um, Change to the Riverside. Something is, uh, Riverside yeah. Park maybe. Yeah, I think that's uh, Bowl and Pitcher. The Bowl and Pitcher because yeah. I see some. It sure, look like yeah, we'll see later on. But this is uh, our grandma and grandpa, right? Uh, John. Yes. Yeah. And I saw Mike there. For a second. First time I've ever seen Grandma Michaels with sunglasses. Oh, that's Grandma Michaels right there. Okay. I don't know if that was before. So that was someone else, maybe. No, no that's that uh, that's Peggy. Okay. Yeah. That's Peggy. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, Peggy. yeah. And this is Uncle Mike. Mike here, this guy here. I don't know. Okay, that's that's Mike. Mike and your grandma. Okay. Yep. And grandpa and and grandpa and your grandpa. Yeah. And that's uh, this is Frank, right? No, it's Ed and John. That's Ed, Ed. Ed and John. That's uh, okay. Yeah, this is Ed and John, right? Now here's Bowl and Pitcher, right? Yep, I think so. I'm just, we've been up there, Fred. <laughs> right, but that that's that's Bowl, bowl and, pitcher and Pitcher right there. Yeah, this Bowl and Pitcher yeah. right here. The last one wasn't it wasn't the Bowl and Pitcher. No, but oh, it's okay. right there. It's across the water. I mean, that's right at the yeah. same park. Oh, so yeah. so so what did they call that park? What was the name of that park? Do you remember Riverside? Riverside, Riverside Park. Riverside yeah. State Park. Riverside State Park. Okay. And it goes on for quite a while. It's a very long park. Yeah. It goes down the river, by the way. Right. There's Grandma. Yeah, that, and that's, that's kind of a new looking uh, bridge. They've rebuilt it, I'm sure, by now. It can't be the same bridge. Looks the same. It is. It looks Rick. the same, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure it's still, does. still there. I've never been down there. Really? Really? No. Yeah. Bull, bullshit. Not when the whole, uh, we went there with the whole. I had a, I had a court order against me. <laughs> Miss Peggy. Court and order. My, wow. And this is the view of Highway Two, right, up from the Colbert Farm. Is that what we're looking at here? Yeah, that's got to be Highway Two. I don't know what else to do. And this is man. These are the China, the Japanese gardens on South Hill. There you are. Mm. It's that's amazing. Right. I've never seen Manitou look like this. It's that's what I thought just, too. Yeah. Yeah, these are the these are the Japanese gardens. They're on the backside of Manitou. Okay. Yeah, you go up Bernard Street. And they got that big old uh, arboretum in the back there, or whatever. Yeah, it's still all there. Whatever that thing is. Hey, that's that was that was that right? Was that yeah? It? Yep. Maybe that right. Okay. And there's great grandma. But great grandma just looks she likes that such a good time. Really pretty. That's Aunt Peggy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, <clears throat> the Colbert Waterworks. That's Grandma Kate. That's Grandma. Is that oh, Dolly? That's, that's, that's Aunt Dolly. Dolly. That's Aunt Dolly. <laughs> Dolly, my goodness. There you are with your dog. Is it Richard? What's the dog's name, Richard? Don't know. Don't remember. Whose house is this? Is that the house still up there? Is that still there? They pulled that was no, your, that was uh, tore your, down. That was your grandpa's house. Oh, really? That, yeah, that's where your grandma and grandpa lived in there. And uh, Janice. Yeah. Or and Mike. Uh, and well, Frank and Dolly lived in a different one. They yeah. lived up, the, up, 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 up a little that bit was, further up the hill. That house yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah, there's a picture of it. It's to to the left of this uh, in this picture. There it is. That's uh, where um, where Frank and Dolly lived. Okay, with, yeah. with Linda and Mike. Yeah. Okay. So when Dad first took us out to the Colbert farm back in the early '60s, the house that he grew up in, the one the first one, was pretty much left to rot. And uh, mm. when Rick and I would go out there, or I'd go out there with with Grandpa Michaels, and and uh, we never went inside. I know I remember that. I remember that building being there, but I never was able to go inside. He was afraid that I'd fall through a floor or something. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So the kid on the left is that's Mike. That's, that's Mike. Mike. Yeah. And that's you next to him, right? Uh, right. Okay, with your dog. There you are. With your do Who are these dogs? Uh, okay, there's Aunt Janice. Yep. Or, yep. Here she is. She's going to go to the prom. Who's she with? This is Ed, right? That's good dad. Yep. Yeah, that's Uncle Ed. Yeah, that, yeah, that's my dad. And there's and Sophie. Aunt Sophie. There's Aunt Sophie, but who's she talking? Oh, she's talking to Ed, yeah. Okay, so we finally see Aunt Sophie. And this is your boat. <laughs> this is Mike. Mike, Richard, yeah. Linda, and Mike. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, Dolly, Peggy, Janice, Kate, and Sophie. Right. right. Well done. And Linda. That's Linda. Yeah. Yes. Now they're digging a hole. Right. What are you planting doing? carrots. What if you have to, they're finding carrots that they're doing? I'm planting carrots. Planting carrots. Okay. Grandpa Dolly Michaels Dolly. told Aunt Dolly, stop, stop. Grandpa Michaels told Aunt Dolly that when you plant your the first time she was planting her garden, make sure that the carrot seeds, the pointy side goes down. Otherwise, they'll <laughs> grow upside down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she did. And she did. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, now, who's this is must be great grandma again, huh? With the, yeah. With, with the mic, or not mic, yeah. Okay, just gardening and that's Mike. Mike, yeah. Is that Mike. that's Mike? That's uh, our Mike. Our Mike. Mike playing, throwing something under Are you, Richard. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That was you. Okay, yeah. you, Mike throwing ball. Me and Mike, yeah, yeah. We we bumped around quite a bit. And Janice with the doggies. <laughs> now you lived on Joseph at this time, right? Joseph Street. No, they hadn't moved out here yet. Okay. You're up for right. Yeah, okay. There's right. Your grandpa. There's our There's aunt. your grandpa. Yeah. Janice. Okay. Is that Janice? <laughs> yeah. That's Janice. Not that one. <laughs> this one here. <laughs> yeah. That one. yeah. 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 We had to get the cow, of course, because he's gonna be he's gonna be dinner here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I I I edited your word there because I thought if this runs alongside of my goofy little video of our tapes, then this continues. Talk about my this would have been great for my film that we showed. <laughs> it looks like the yeah, it looks like great for wrath, you know. Kind of, in North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, or Montana. You know, one thing that when I watched this portion of the video or the excuse me, the film. I was not surprised one bit that you see Frank parking the car and climbing down the to the river with his fishing pole. Isn't that something? Not Frank, oh. Ed. Ed. Oh, Ed, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he's, he's the one that first took, here. He, Ed was the looks, Uncle Ed was the yeah. first one that took me to fishing. Okay. I I never knew that, Fred, until you told me that. I never knew that. Yeah, he took when we had hmm. that lot out there on the Long Lake. Yeah. He took me out there fishing and uh, he had caught a trout, I think it was. And yeah. uh, uh, it wasn't, I don't know why he didn't cook it or, or eat it, but I remember dad was planting uh, some trees out there on the property and he says, this will make good fertilizer. He threw it in the hole. Oh, <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. I thought, why are they burying this fish? I didn't understand it. Well, that's right. <laughs> I, remember that, yeah. I remember that, Fred. It was a huge fish, too. Yeah, it was a good size one. But I've I never seen a trout come out of there after, since then. It was always uh, a bass or uh, or whatever the else was in there. Hey, uh, Rick, I got a question on your your et your um, editing software here. Can you uh, can you edit for uh, brightness and contrast on the, on a video? Uh, I'm not sure I can play with it. I got color adjustment and I might be able to do some colorized things. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, be because some of those sections are, are so dark, it's hard to make out what it is. Yeah, I don't know I if gotta, I can lighten it up. I'm not sure about that. I'll, I'll play around with those. Little. Those highways look rather racist to me. <laughs> Dude, this is spectacular. <laughs> this picture here, I mean, you got this is I just think this photography is, is you're uh, getting to Montana now, like, and you're approaching the Rockies there, it looks mm -hmm. like. Or or yeah. the yeah, those are the Rockies, man. You're probably yeah. you're getting Livingston or something here. It yeah. would be very nice. It would this if we could read stop. There you go. Hunting fishing resorts. Dude ranch. Tim Bar, Montana. Oh. Big Timber. Where is Big Timber? Montana, yeah. It must be, must be Montana. Montana, yeah, big, yeah. It's Montana. I'm trying to think of where Big Timber was in Montana. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Go by Crazy Monts or something. <laughs> yeah. Crazy Dude Ranch. Montos. But yeah, Big Timber, yeah. That's Montana. Well, that looks like any town in eastern Washington. Yeah. Big Sky. Big Sky Country. Yep. And West. You remember Husky West Oil Federal. gas stations? Husky gas stations? Oh. Yeah. Back up yeah, there. I back do. up. Rick, back up. Yeah. Let's stop at that at that uh, sign there. Yeah, it's caverns. It's in Montana. I, I can't yeah. tell what it is, though. I mean it's a cavern. Oh, it's, it's after Big Timber, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Did did they have the uh, the Burma shave signs back in in your days, along no. the highway? There was a uh, few there between uh, Cheney and uh, and uh, Spokane, I think, or no, yeah. Ritzville and Cheney. Mm. I never saw any myself. You never saw any Burma shave signs. <laughs> now you guys, the, no doubt, this is uh, Linda came along on this trip. Okay, now this is uh, no, this they is were, Barb, and, uh, this, awesome. this is Barb and Ed. Uh, okay. my my two two of my sister's kids and uh to be honest i'm not sure exactly where this uh video was taken my guess, okay, would, hotel I'll, room yeah that's my guess it's you guys this is part be. of that trip and you're you stop at a hotel be. room and they're listening to music gonna, they're jumping on the bed and who's that in the background there is that you that that's me <laughs> okay. so you don't remember stopping at a hotel and, and listening to music and rocking out the elvis or whatever <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this was taken. Okay. This is a little bit of a puzzle to me. Okay. Yeah. That was my guess. Because it's the, on this trip. Yeah, it definitely cooler, is you and Ed and Barbara, right? right? Yes. You got correct. a cooler. And, uh, <laughs> and then you're on the road again. So I am guess I just assumed that was a hotel. I smell Could a fishing be. hole coming up. I don't know. Yeah. Like you're getting ready to cross into Idaho there. Yeah, I can't tell these. I can see if I can see these signs here. If you stop and let's see. If, uh, uh, let's see. <sighs> ah. What happened here? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, jumped ahead. Okay, jump behind. 
Yeah, anyway, I don't know if I can read. Nope, there's... Uh, State Farm. Yeah, it looks like State Farm, <laughs> yeah. No, that's not State Farm. It looks like State Farm, but it looks like there's looks a like... woman sitting on pumpkins or something. And then over here, I have no idea. You got imagination, Rick. You got, you got a hell of imagination. <laughs> well, I'm, you know what? I'm going to take this to the FBI. I think they're going to digitize. They're going to they're going to do that and, and recreate. All right, now, there's, come to a river. There's, there's a fishing know. stop. You watch. Ed's going to pull out a fishing pole. Yeah. Is that your cold car? That that's the car you guys drove in. Yeah, I think that uh, that was the uh, Mercury. Yeah, that was our Mercury that we had. That was a beautiful car. Yeah, that's my dad. When 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 he saw that river, he he was sure he was going to snag something in there, but he, he he didn't get any hits. Oh, that's too bad. But boy, that that water sure did look good. So you all packed. Okay, so who was on this trip? Um, who all was on this trip? Well, from from what I re from, from what I recall, Rick, it was uh, it was just my mom and dad and me. Okay. Um, on this trip, that's why I'm a little puzzled about uh, Barb and, and Ed and where that video was taken. I'm uh, that doesn't jive with with my memory of of our trip. Uh, from from what I recall, we moved out to Spokane, and then my sister followed a little bit later. Um, okay. How much later? I'm not sure, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure she. Uh, they came out later. So, Dick, or Richard? Yeah. Um, when you edit this to a uh, video, yeah, the, or transfer the the uh, the film, you didn't. You went just from reel, ran the whole reel, and stop, and then put the next reel in, and ran it, and stopped, and next reel. Well, see each each video that you took back in those days. The reel contained three minutes of recording. Okay, so what my dad did was he took he took these three minute reels and he spliced them together into a larger reel, which is what you're looking at here. So this one here is like about 21 minutes, so that would represent about seven of the small reels. And okay, he, so that he, he could have he could have placed a three minute. Uh, he Real. could have gotten them out of order. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah, he could have gotten them out of order, and um, he, pro you know, my guess is he probably did. So then, when he spliced them all together into the larger reels, uh, which which I have, I have the original larger meals reels. Then what I did was I, I took the large reels, and those are the reels that I sent off to Las Vegas, hmm. and uh, for conversion to VHS. Oh, okay. So every, everything since my dad spliced those together, um, nothing's been changed with respect to chronology or sequencing. No, that's, so your you, that, you, that's Aunt Peggy and that's Ed and Barbara with the little ones. You know, uh, this is uh, my sister and, uh, oh. and Barb and Ed. Oh, I thought it was your mom. Okay, I'm sorry. That's... Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's my sister. Um, okay. What, what happened there was when my sister got married, she, she married this guy. She, she married into the Miller family. Oh. And uh, her husband's name was Art. And Art appears on, the, on one of the Colbert picnic videos that you've got. Okay, and um, his, his, parents, his parents owned a, a vacation cabin on a lake. I forget which lake it was, outside of Chicago. And this is their vacation cabin. And so we went up there one weekend and stayed in their cabin uh, oh. overnight. And that's what this video is all about. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the vacation cabin. Oh, nice. This yeah. is the Millers? The Miller, you said? Millers, yeah, Millers. So, uh, so, so Barb's, Barb's uh, name was, uh, was Miller. Barbara Miller, Ed Miller, and Luann Miller. Oh, those, yeah, those were the three children of my my sister, Diane. And so so then her married name was Diane Miller. See, so okay. Barbara, Luann and Ed. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's so probably those those pictures, those kids jumping in that that might be in this building. It might have been part of this thing. Um, Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. 
Possibly. I just don't know, Rick. I just don't know. Um, I think it would save a lot of confusion in the future if you just cut it out and um, put a match to it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's so cute. And I love this, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Eddie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Ed. <laughs> And these are uh, okay. And it's, you know. Oh, he was so serious that kid. Oh God, he was serious. Yeah. <laughs> That's Barbara. No. And Barbara, Barbara and yeah. Mm -hmm. Barbara and, and Ed. Okay. That's how we yeah. used to drink water in those days. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then you guys got to Spokane, and, and you bought this house. Uh, and then that, is, that, yeah. That's, that's and, a view across uh, the street. Yeah, view across well, the street. Well, see, we 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 stayed with uh, with your grandparents um, on the farm until while my dad was looking around for a house to buy, and uh, we stayed out there until we bought the house and moved into the house. So so we we were actually living on the farm. Okay, and this is a yeah. house bar right here, right? Yes, that's your mom. Yeah, this is the house on Joseph Joseph Street, and. Uh, the park next door is uh, Jim Hill Park. Jim Hill, the uh, the famous railroader. Oh, really? That's James Hill Park. Jim Hill Park, huh? Oh, Jim Hill Park, yeah. Yeah, I remember whenever we'd go visit, I was there was a park to play in. Yeah. Yeah, and that house looked familiar. That's, that's the front. That's the front of the house. That that previous shot was the back of the house. Yeah, this yeah. is the, the front here exactly. So, so the yeah, you park got it is, right. Do the uh, park is on the right. back. Okay. On the right, yeah. Right. I used to live around yeah, the corner. And this is around uh, the corner. Yeah, and when I was at Gonzaga, I uh, I got a job and a place to stay at Hilliard Plaza Retirement Home. Oh. I was the, I was the maintenance man there. Oh, oh, for heaven's sake! Oh, yeah, very good. It was, right, it was right, just about across the street from St. Joseph's Church. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I know where that's at. Yeah, sure. Okay. Who's well, Is that your mom? That's uh, that's Dolly and uh, Mike. That's Dolly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dolly and uh, Mike Michaels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the, uh, your dad and uh, Frank. My dad and or Matt Miller. Who is that? Um... Frank and Ed. Ed and Frank. Yeah, it's Ed and Frank. Is that Frank? Yeah. Janice, Kate. And who's the woman there on the left there? With Anna the... Don. Is that Anna Don with the pepper? That's what I thought so. I don't know. You could be right. Huh? What's your Anna... real name? Anna Dvornik. Ann? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's called it Anna Don. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, we got one Hated of these things. things. <laughs> That's <Olive>. <laughs> We got one of those things. Yeah, we still do. <laughs> <laughs> they had them back then too. I'll be darn. There's the men doing stuff. Who's in the hat? Who's in the hat? Yeah, who's, like, who's, who's, who's this guy? Friend. Oh, okay, that uh, okay, that guy there. That oops. Uh, it, can you go back a little bit, Rick? Oh, it's four. You mean? Or forward? Is, that is it guy four? there? Oh yeah, the uh, yeah that that big guy in the in the background. That's yeah. uh, that was my sister's first husband. That's Art Miller. Oh, that's Art oh Miller. Art. Okay. Yeah, that's Art Miller. Oh, were they married at the time? And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so they they were. And you'll you'll see a picture of him um, uh, sitting sitting on the porch there with uh, with Ed next to him, his son sitting next to him. Oh, okay. But I can tell my grandpa backwards, forwards. That's <laughs> I've never seen him wear a baseball cap, Rick. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's you back here, right, Dick? Uh, the uh... that looks like Dad or Jim. <laughs> right here. Where's that Dad? That's yeah. 1956, yeah. Six. I don't Matt know. is in the army or something. He's having you, Fred. He is. Yeah, Mom's having me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Hmm. Is that uh, Barbara and Luann? Barbara and Ed, yeah. 
Is that Piggy? Yeah. Mike, Mike Janice. Janice. Mike, yeah. Okay, I guess it was Mike and um, and Ed who had the uh, the fireman's hats. I guess there were two fireman's oh, okay. hats there. <laughs> yeah, this is Ed, and Ed's sitting next to his dad, Art. Okay, that's and that's um, Miller's. The Miller's, okay. Well, I yeah. first I I got started getting really close to Ed about 19, oh, 70, 69, 70. That far ago. Long, long ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 69, hmm. 70. And I, that, I don't know. When did Art pass away? Because I don't remember Art. You don't remember Art? Yeah. Well, it, uh, uh, well let's see. Let's see. Um, my sister was married to Art for about 10 years. Barbara was born in 51. 51, 61. So I would guess he passed away like maybe 62, 63, somewhere in there. It was after I got yeah. to know Ed, because uh, I was really surprised by the time I got to know Ed. I think I was in junior high, and he was like a year or two older than me. And I was an avid model, car model builder, and he had built just about the same, exact same cars as I built. Oh, really? <laughs> Except for his looked so much nicer because he had he had painted them more more meticulous oh. painting. Oh, for heaven's sake! I never knew that. Yeah, huh. mm, that's really interesting. And then, yeah. uh, and I hmm. almost his one of his first bosses, uh, Sullivan, and he was in advertising in Spokane. Was yeah. One of my professors at Gonzaga. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, and I took a summer class with him and with the. Uh, Sullivan, I think his name was, and that's when I realized I would, had to go to his office for some class, and that's when I realized that Ed was working for him. Oh, mm -hmm. no kidding! Yeah, that was, and uh, and then so I, that's why I reconnected with Ed for a little bit. I saw some of his advertising uh, uh, graphics uh, and designs and uh, slogans, commercials, and such. That was pretty cool. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Did, uh, he was, he was uh, a good graphic artist. Yeah. Did you know Ed when uh, he was working then for uh, White Runkle advertising outfit on Riverside in Spokane? There was Coons, Corkle, and Sullivan. Coons, Corkle, and Sullivan. Okay. That was, well, that was, that was near Riverside too. It was. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Was was that in an old brick building that had a uh, a rickety cage type elevator? One of the old rickety cage elevators. I, I don't Do think so. It no? could have been, but you know, I wasn't. Uh, the only reason why I was there was had to do something with a grade, so I wasn't really paying attention to the. Oh, architecture. I see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting, friend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here like you, and you and Mike. Mike. Mike Michael, gonna go, gonna go yeah. hunt some pheasant or something. Yeah, we we were gonna go. Yeah, we went out there. We were looking for something, pheasants probably. Yeah, we we had a couple of guns. Yeah, I don't see any birds with you. Yeah, no, we didn't get nothing. Go hunting for Nazis, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got three of Over them. They were farm. they they were hiding in the bush. <laughs> and who's this Who old guy? Who are these guys with you? Okay, well that's my dad on the right, and on the left I call him my um, my adopted uncle. Um, his story is uh, back in the old days and in, in the thirties. Uh, this would have been like maybe about 1936, 1937. Uh, we were living in Chicago and. Um, uh, this this gentleman's name is uh, is Walter Martin, and Walter had gotten out of uh, Germany um, ahead of Hitler. He 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 was able to escape before Hitler and before the uh, the U.S. entered World War II. And um, uh, Walter got to know my folks through some kind of a German American society that my folks belonged to in Chicago at that time. 
And they became, uh, because Walter was new to the United States, he didn't know up from down and so on. And my, my dad helped him a lot uh, to become established and everything and um, how the system worked and what have you. Um, and so they, they became almost uh, lifelong friends. Hmm. Um, and so after we moved to uh, Spokane, then um, Walter was was disappointed to lose his boyfriend, quote unquote. And uh, so he he came out to uh, to visit us and had contemplated at one time moving to Spokane, but he never did. So that's who he is. So he he was a longtime family friend and he always he always bought me and my sister Christmas presents and birthday presents. And he was always coming over for family get togethers and things like that. He, he never married. So uh, he never married or never had any kids of his own. Now, is there a reason why he, I mean, specific reason why he had to escape Hitler at the time? Well, he, he knew things were getting bad over there. Yeah. He just wanted to get out. Yeah. And so he decided to get out. And um, so I've got a picture of his family back in Germany. Um, and uh, but why he's the only one who left, I don't know how that came about, but uh, his family would have uh, really had a tough time surviving after the war. And I, I remember back in the late 40s, early 50s, how he was always going to the post office, sending care packages over to Germany so that they could, uh, you know, survive. I think. Oh. Yeah. Now, what is in the tree that they're all looking at here? That I don't apple. know. <laughs> apple. Okay, yeah, these don't are the weird apples. apples. I understand there was a very strange apple you don't even want to eat anymore that was being grown out there, and that no, you do want to eat it. It's just that it's, it's it's ex, they think it's extinct. Okay, so that then, yeah, the wazoo came up to take a look at it or something. Oh, they do look yeah. like apples. Terry, yeah. Terry knows all about that. I get okay. Terry Paul. Now, whose car is this? Is that that's a grandpa? Is that a Pooh? Yeah, dog? that's your uh, that's your that's grandma Stude and grandpa's car. That's Studebaker. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's the car that has every button, every little screw on the passenger side. If you push it, it will honk the horn. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember. I remember Grandpa having that. We went out and got got the oil change or something once. Okay, and then here's Uncle Ed mowing his lawn. Yeah, the brand new spanking lawnmower. And that's it. Guy. Oh boy, yeah. That's it. So uh, that's it. Stop share and stop mm. the recording. <laughs>